Julia Cameron says, we were all born to write. It's usually our second or third grade teachers with the red pins that silence that side of our creative life. The thing is, is that we are all creative. I don't care what your profession is. In every business, in every walk of life, creativity is what puts air in your lungs. We are addicted to it because we have to have it. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all may turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I guess it's like a Marine or it's like a broadcaster. A martial artist just because you're not doing it now doesn't mean that you still aren't you, you know what I mean by that I am a martial artist a third dawn third degree black belt I will never shed that from my skin because that is the process of growing forward for me it's the same thing as being a student of Julia Cameron although that I began my journey with her in July of 1994 every day that passes I'm able to pull from all all of her books and continue living this creative path the artist way is such a brilliant step of moving forward without invading your personal beliefs because she believes in you in a way that says hey look you are a creative person concentrate on that build upon that foundation plant new seeds allow yourself to grow and be forgiving of the self that you are Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer, and it all comes from the artist way from Julia Cameron. And, and, that, and really, when, when, when you go through a growing period like that with this particular book, what happens is, is that your life is going to change, but you have to learn how to accept that in yourself. And more importantly, you have to learn how to accept the people around you that don't like the way that you're changing. Ooh, a lot, lot of changes around you, but you've got to push through that mountain. This is The Daily Mess. In The Artist Way from Julia Cameron, she challenges her students to stay away from magazine covers and newspapers. As creative people, we are magnets, especially to bad negative moods. For that matter, creative people also like to hang out with other unbalanced people. See, deprivation is something that Julia Cameron puts a lot of attention on. You've got to get away from the headlines, from the newspapers, from the bad people. But, but keeping them away kind of pushes you away from the everyday world. And is that okay? One week free of the world, and so much has been put into play without your participation. Now, my deprivation was to stay clear of having to own the latest of all things technology. I had to have the newest, only to learn, well, what am I going to do with it? It's just another digital device. I, I, I've got so many of these things. See, the thing is, is that we're all suckers in this society, and big corporations love our need for speed. Headlines in magazines? Come on, let's think about this for a little bit. You buy it, or you go to that web page, and what's happening is their advertisers are reaching you. You may not stop to look at that advertisement, but it has a way on that digital device to get inside your head and heart. Even just a slight little glance at it, boom, you're sold. Doesn't mean you're going to buy it today, but somewhere along the line, you will. Or it's going to be that one thing that you can't shake from your head. It's like, God, what would happen if I did get that? Man, or something like it. Oh, man, my life would be so much better. See, they know what they're doing. All of these people use bad headlines because we want to know what's going wrong so that we can steer clear of it. But in the end, we have fear, shame, guilt, and other emotional anxieties. As my father always told me, you don't need to know everything <sighs> and yet our dance with social media does everything to our mind body and soul what was your first search engine i believe mine was yahoo and then and then i heard about this thing called google and then there was bing and all these other crappy things but but i used that because i needed information for my radio shows you know i grew up in that age and i came through the, that stone age of of where radio was all about what you found in the usa today or the local newspaper or cosmopolitan or or just people magazine that's how we got our content and then all of a sudden somewhere in the mid 1990s they gave us a computer in the control room and i was like you've got to be kidding me you mean i don't have to pay 50 cents for a usa today anymore all of that information and then and then i would put it on my radio show but how did the listeners receive it how did they put it in their life i did i used to do a thing called infotainment 
taking actual information, facts and things, but I would put it in an information way. You know, like like the Daily Show. I, I was before the Daily Show. He just got lucky, all those guys over there. They, they got a camera in front of their face. I'm radio. I, I, got a, I got a perfect face for radio. But all of this content gets inside of us, and what are we doing with it? I'm going to give you a good example of that. My essential job, only because during the lockdown I was starving for people, I, I went and got a job at a grocery store. I needed to be with people. I needed it. I didn't need to have a deprivation of people. I needed people. So I went to a grocery store, and I happened to like it. Well, the thing about what has happened to me is that you can ask me where an item is in my store and I'll take you to it. No questions asked. And it's like, how do I know? And the reason, this is, this is what I blame it on, okay? Because I walk down each one of those lanes every day, I may not be looking for an object, but my mind is seeing everything. So when someone says, where is, I know exactly where it is because I've taken in everything and I see society doing the same exact thing with everything on social media or what you're binge watching. You're taking it in, but it's sitting there. Your butt may not be getting bigger, but your mind is getting clogged. Suggestion. Maybe a solution. It's time to get rid of it. It's time to sit there and say, you know what? Maybe a little bit of deprivation might help because I'm not sleeping at night. And in the daytime, my anxiety is so high. I don't know what to do with myself. I, I can't breathe. My legs are weak. Deprivation. Find your space. But you have to be willing to say, if I leave for a week, what am I going to do to catch up? I see people leaving Facebook all the time, all the time. Oh, I'm going to leave Facebook for a month. I'll see you guys in 30 days. So they do. And then they come back and they brag about, man, it was wonderful not being here. Then why did you come back? I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.